Okay, um, this is White Violin video number three, and this is that same violin. I finished the 1000 grit sanding, cleaning it all up, um, cleaning up the, the scroll and the, the peg box. Um, and just getting it all ready, and it's and I stained it last night. It sat overnight. I stained the inside of the peg box black. You'll see on good violins, the inside of the peg boxes, anyone's that I've ever seen, are always black. Um, just looks nicer. Um, but you'll see some some cheap cheap ones, like just really. One or two hundred dollar student violins. Um, there we go. Where the inside of the peg box is white. But uh, I've gone ahead and, and stained it, and it's sat overnight. And what I'm doing now is I take a very soft cloth, and I'm just kind of like burnishing it gently. Um, the stain, just smoothing it off. I don't want to do any sanding at this point. Um, after you put the stain on, you don't want to. You don't want to be sanding it. But I'm just going over it very gently and just making sure because the stain, um, you can get streaks and whatnot. But this just kind of helps minimize it. Um, I actually have already gone over this once. Um, about an hour after I stained it, when it had a chance to sit, but it wasn't completely wasn't completely dry. It's still not 100% dry, but it's a lot drier now because I stained it last night. But I already did this once last night about two hours after staining it and that's why it actually doesn't look too bad now but initially when you first stain it there's some uh, streak marks and things like that um, in the stain but now just going over it real quick just make sure I touch every every corner and every surface. You can't really see, there you go. And of course the top is spruce. So that's a much softer uh, wood than the sides in the back. Um, spruce, the stain dries much quicker. Um, I also in, in, uh, stained the inside of the F-holes black too. Just get in there and do the inside of the F-holes so they're black too. Um, old violins, when they did the stain, it was basically just, or the finish on them, the finish just kind of went in there and turned the inside of the F-holes black. Um, I don't know, I can't say that they stained the inside of the old ones, but when I take old violins apart, take the top off, you can see the finish on the inside of the F-holes just running down the inside of the uh, top. Um, so I know they do it that way, but I can't say for sure that they don't actually stain the inside of the F-holes too. Just for looks, I just I don't think they do, but they do stain the inside of the peg box, so it's black. It's just used ebony stain. That's all. So now this is pretty much set as far as the stain goes. What I'm going to do now is let this hang for another uh, 
here where it won't touch anything. There we go. And it's just hanging right there on a on a hanger. It's not touching anything. I'm gonna let it hang there for let it hang there for over the weekend. Today's Friday, uh, February 2nd, 2018. So I'm just going to let that hang there over the weekend and uh, <clears throat> then I'll continue on it next week. Um, I have to do the, I have to seal the stain will be my next step. And, and then after I seal the stain, um, I'll French polish it. And when I French polish it, it will look, it will look like, well, this is one of mine. You see how shiny it is. I believe it's going to be the same color. Yeah. Um, red mahogany, but that's, you can see the difference between just stained and then French polish, big difference. Um, that's all of my violins I French polish. Um, this is another one, then French polish, it's got a nice, uh, nice flame to it. I believe this is, oh yeah, this is another one, um, another one of my violins in French polish. I kind of like, I guess I lean towards red mahogany. Um, this is a 7 8 violin I did with a one piece back, similar to the one I'm doing now. Um, 7 8 violin is a petite violin, it's basically a full size violin, but it's just a little smaller. For us, you know, say a woman who was five feet tall or whatever, or someone with just short, slightly shorter arms or whatever. Um, and that's that. So that's going to hang over the weekend, and uh, I'll get back to you.